Welcome to our how-to video series and your introduction to the eNet Inbox program. Today's lesson will show you how to use eNet Inbox, our newest cloud-based storage tool that allows you to share company documents on the web. It's available for use for anyone who uses Grandmaster desktop payroll software and other programs that require web-based document viewing and storage. eNet Inbox allows you to easily upload your employees' pay statements or T4s directly to an employee accessible mailbox. Employees can then log on to their mailbox and retrieve up to one year's worth of pay statements or their T4s from the prior year. It also includes a bulletin board feature where you can upload documents of all types to share with your employees. As an employer, you'll enjoy a number of benefits. You'll save the time of having to print and distribute pay statements. You'll improve employee communication by sharing timely information with your staff. You'll also gain added security by replacing paper statements with protected documents that can be read only by the intended recipient. And you'll also save the planet by reducing the use of paper and ink. So let's view a quick demonstration of how easy it is to upload your employee pay statements, T4s, and other company documents for viewing on the web. For today's demonstration, we will use the Grandmaster Suite Payroll Program. And if you're a Grandmaster 2 user, you will use the same upload to ENIT inbox procedure as we will show in this video. So let's begin by quickly reviewing our list of employees from the test payroll that we will use for this lesson. You don't need to view the employee list each time. We're only showing this step for demo purposes so that you'll see how the employee accounts are created automatically in ENIT inbox. As you can see, our sample payroll contains four employees, Fred, Harry, Pat, and Helen. Helen is our most recent hire and will be receiving her first pay statement during this pay cycle. When we perform the upload procedure, any employee who does not have an eNet Inbox user account will have one generated for them automatically. In our sample payroll, Fred, Harry, and Pat have already had their pay statements uploaded to eNet Inbox during the previous pay cycle. That means that their eNet Inbox user accounts already exist. Our new employee, Helen, will have an account created for her automatically during the upload procedure. Now that we've reviewed our employees, let's return to the payroll module and open the payroll statements dialog box. This dialog is located under the Payroll Modules Reports menu, History, Employee Pay Statements, EFT Statement. Note, if you are using Grandmaster 2, you can access the Payroll Statements dialog box from the Payroll screen under the Reports, Check Stubs, Format 1 or 2 menu command. With the dialog box open, the first thing we need to do is specify the pay sequence that will be used for the upload procedure. To do so, we will choose the Select Pay Sequence button and highlight the most recent closed payroll. In our example, it's Sequence 220. Keep in mind that if you ever need to upload Pay Sequence 220 again, the second upload will replace the documents from the first upload procedure. This can be useful in cases where you need to recalculate your payroll and correct all of the pay statements. You can also upload historical pay sequences at any time. For example, if you're starting to use the eNet Inbox service in the middle of the year, you would upload each separate pay sequence beginning from number 1. This would provide your employees their pay statements for the entire year, up to the current pay cycle. Now we can move to the bottom of the Select tab where the Upload features are located. The Upload to eNet Inbox button initiates the file transfer procedure that will generate electronic copies of each employee's pay statement and then transfer them to the secure eNet Inbox database. If you wish to prevent an email notification from being sent to each employee when their pay stub has been uploaded, place a check in the Suppress Email Notification checkbox. However, if you do wish to send an email notification to your employees, you must ensure that each employee has a valid email address defined for them in Grandmaster Suite. To begin the upload procedure, choose the Upload to eNet Inbox button. 
This initiates the file transfer process and a status window appears in the top left corner of your screen showing the progress. And once the upload is complete, a pop-up window will appear displaying the number of employee statements that were successfully uploaded. In our sample payroll, we can see that four reports were uploaded and one account was created automatically for an employee who was having their pay statements uploaded for the very first time. Now we can log into the ENET Inbox program using our administrator account so that we can review the results of the upload procedure. When you are logged on as an administrator, you have access to a number of common administrative functions including confirming an upload, viewing or deleting employee pay statements and T4s, resetting employee passwords, and so on. If we look at the table, we can see that five user accounts are displayed. The top account is for the administrator and the next four rows correspond to the four employees for whom we have uploaded pay stubs. Since we are logged on as the administrator, our privileges allow us to view each pay statement as needed in order to review the results or to print a manual copy if required. If we click on the expand row icon for employee Fred, we can see that he has two pay statements. One for the previous pay cycle and one for sequence 220, the pay sequence that we just processed. And if we click on the report name in the first column, we can view the report details. Depending on your browser settings, the resulting PDF file will either be stored in your downloads folder or you may be presented with a dialog box that will prompt you where to save the file. For our demo, I can click directly on the PDF button that has appeared at the bottom of my browser. The pay statement report lists the employee's earnings for the period and breaks down the hours by earning type, including the year-to-date totals. Now if we click on the expand row icon for our newest employee, Helen, we can see that she only has one pay statement that corresponds to her first pay date with the company. Each time you upload pay statements for a new employee, their eNet Inbox account will be created automatically. Before we leave the screen, we will also mention that administrators can use the bulletin board feature to upload important company documents to share with all employees. For example, if I choose the Add button, I can add the company holiday memo, and the next time our users log in, they can view each of these documents at their leisure. And that's how easy it is to perform the process of uploading pay statements to ENET Inbox. Now that we've reviewed the pay statements as an administrator, the next portion of this lesson will have us log into the ENET Inbox as an employee so that we can see the differences between an administrator account and an employee account. First, we will choose the Logout button and choose OK to the confirmation. And then we'll log in once again, but this time we'll use login credentials for one of our employee user accounts, Pat Higgins. Note, ENET Inbox user IDs and passwords are generated automatically during the upload procedure. Once an employee logs in, they can change their password as needed. Because we are logged into Pat's employee account, we can see that report information is displayed for her and her alone. We can see her two pay statements and can view or print them as needed. And at the end of the year, her T4 statements will also appear in this list. Employees can also view their pay information right on their mobile phones using our mobile application. And finally, if we click on the bulletin board button, we can also view the company memo that was uploaded for all the staff members earlier on. This completes the lesson on how to use ENET Inbox. For a more in-depth look at this program, please view the online help by pressing F1 on your keyboard 
or you can visit our YouTube channel and view the eNet Inbox document sharing and bulletin board tutorials. We hope you found the lesson useful and ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more how-to videos. Thanks for watching.